So except those days were shortened, there should be no flesh saved. And except those days were shortened, for the elect's sake, those days were to be shortened. So what are we talking about? The words Jesus said, will happen at the end of the world. Seeing the ways are going to roar at the end of the world. Jesus gave other, told us what other things was going to happen. That there would be uh, flooding and um, earthquakes, diverse places, large hail, and uh, you know, tornadoes and hurricanes and all that kind of stuff. And he said about there'd be an increase of it through the Apostle Paul. He taught the Apostle Paul that there would be an increase in these things at the end of the world. And uh, it would be like the pangs on a, a woman as she gives birth. And the Bible also talks about in some detail from the Revelation that the kings of the East uh, would be prepared in time of preparation and that they would attack. Um, and we're seeing signs of that now um, happening with uh, North Korea and Iran. And um, of course Iran is um, over in, uh, you know, Israel, on the borders of Israel at the moment, on the mountains of Israel. And it's very dangerous for Iran to be in that position because uh, Israelis are not amused at all about having uh, Iran in their backyard. And in North Korea, of course, uh, has been threatening nuclear. And um, so, yeah, there's a lot going on. Kings of the East will. Uh, you know, attack at some point, but the Bible talks about that, Revelation chapter 17 and Revelation chapter 9 talks about spitting out fire, brimstone and smoke, it had wings and uh, had a face of a man in it, and um, it gives a time, five months, which I think is 150 days, or 150 years, a day for a year. And we take that from the First World War, and then we have the, there you have it. First World War. So, um, from the First World War to now, that's the time as well. So, anyway, those days, that was these should be shortened, there should be no flesh saved, etc. And that for the elect's sake, if those days were not shortened, no flesh would be saved now. I'd say I really do go back to the Second World War for that. Because if Hitler hadn't been stopped, Within two years, he would have got the nuclear bomb, and uh, he would have put it on his uh, New York rocket, his rockets. And to be honest with you, Hitler was uh, having headaches and being stupid at the time and hyped up on drugs. Now, if he had had um, uh, a clear mind, he probably would have used his jet fighters, uh, not as bombers, although a hundred of them were used as bomb as fighters, but he would use them as. Um, you know, about 15 under them, whatever, as um, interceptors. Uh, and they basically, would, they would have conquered the skies and the war would have dragged on for years and Hitler would have got the nuclear bomb and it would be the end of the world. Um, but Hitler was stupid and uh, he used his uh, jet fighters as bombers, like the Stukas. Um, so, bad move, calculated it wrong way. Anyway, the thing is, if the uh, war had gone on, I believe that would have been the end of the world. They didn't know about the nuclear fallout, they didn't know about you know, birth defects. They, they, after Hiroshima and Nagasaki and that, they didn't know. It wasn't just a big bomb. They just kept getting bigger and bigger and bigger. This was something different and they didn't know about it. So, as I was saying, it's... Uh, the Bible says, you know, except those days were shortened, no flesh would be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days were shortened. And if it were possible, the Bible says, if it even were possible, that even the elect uh, shouldn't be saved. So that's an astonishing statement, you know, because the Bible says, none shall pluck them out of my hand. Uh, we are safe and secure when we're saved, when we believe Jesus, and uh, when you love Jesus, and you know, you believe you're safe, you're safe, you're secure. Uh, 
some people have tasted of the things of God and they believe just partly with the top of their head. They don't believe with their heart. And uh, those types of people have sometimes fallen into uh, you know, gross sin. And some of them can be renewed to repentance. Um, some, as possible, uh, could be saved. Um, you know, not all are into the sin of apostasy. Some uh, are making strides towards getting converted and saved. Uh, sometimes conversion is a slow process for some. For the most part, uh, anybody who accepts Jesus and believes in Jesus and loves Jesus is going to heaven. And that's the way the Bible predicts it. And so, um, but if anybody hates Jesus, the Bible says, if any man loves not our Lord Jesus Christ, they shall be anathema, that is, accursed or damned when Jesus returns. And that's what we've shown in the Bible. So, So anyway, um, yeah, except for those days we're shortened, no flesh shall be saved, that's what I believe, uh, is the meaning of that. And again, some might say, well, with this nuclear crisis now going on between North Korea and, uh, you know, Iran and all that, but I don't think it's a problem there. Not for a long time yet. Anyway, I think that's what we'll cover the subject.